now a suspected carjacker has been charged with attempted murder of a Chicago police officer, and two others are facing felonies after last night's chaotic shootout on Lower Wacker Drive. And we do have video of that heart-stopping arrest and the story of the tech tool that made it happen. WGN's Mike Lowe is joining us now with more on that, Mike. Ray and Mike, good evening once again to both of you. Those arrests were only possible with new technology that both police and politicians agree is critical in the fight against carjacking. Video obtained by WGN News shows the dramatic moments last night when Chicago police say they stopped a carjacked Honda on Lower Wacker Drive, then exchanged gunfire with the suspects. Lower Wacker and Columbus shooting a 10 one shot fire. It led to the arrests of three carjacking suspects. 24 year old Edgardo Perez is charged with attempted murder, unlawful use of a weapon, and possession of a stolen vehicle. 21-year-old Jesse Sanchez faces weapons and drug charges along with stolen property charges. And 20-year-old Noel Centeno is charged with possessing the stolen vehicle. Ultimately, they took three people off the street who would likely be victimizing people tonight and tomorrow night. But it wasn't luck. It was tech that made it happen, according to 42nd Ward Alderman Brendan Riley. This camera picked up a carjacked vehicle plate this car that drove by. Riley spoke with Bob Surratt on WGN radio this morning. I've spent a fair amount of aldermanic menu money in recent years on license plate reader cameras. Each alderman has so-called menu money, a $1.3 million fund to spend on ward projects. Riley says the cameras can be mounted on squad cars or street fixtures, and there are several around the loop. They scan and process every license plate, and when a stolen vehicle is detected, officers in the police strategic decision support centers are alerted, and they dispatch officers to the location, like last night on Lower Wacker Drive. Luckily, there was a lot of traffic at the time, and so the car was stuck at a light, and it was kind of boxed in, and a squad rolled up, and the officers jumped out at the red light to go up to the car, and as it was described to me overnight uh, from CPD, the officers returned fire. They did not initiate gunfire, they returned it. And Riley says the car and the criminals would still be out there, if not for the cameras. According to our local commanders, these are invaluable. Now, several other aldermen say they want to add the license plate reader cameras in their wards. Police, of course, hail them as an effective crime-fighting tool, but the ACLU has warned about how they can encroach on our privacy, essentially giving the government a way to track all of our movements. So there is not complete agreement about this, but certainly they have been effective like we saw last night on Lower Wacker Drive. And right now, that's the only place... It, this is the only ward where, the, where those cameras are, right? Well, there are certain uh, wards that have some of them, but... Uh, Alderman Riley is the one who spent this menu Did money it. on it. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. of course, there are, I, I want to say, hundreds, more than 200 of them on police squad cars throughout the gotcha. city. Yeah. But uh, there are certainly a large number of them in the loop where a lot of these uh, crimes are happening. Yeah. yeah. All right, Mike, thanks so much.